Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on geometric sequence and series. Our task at hand is to convert 0 0.16 repeating to a fraction form. Let's get started. 0 0.16, let's write a couple more terms. Repeating is equal to 0 0.1 plus 6 over 100 plus 6 over 1,000 plus 6 over 10,000. You got the picture, so on and so forth. I often get asked what the difference is between geometric sequence and series. Now, each one of the terms themselves is sequence. Okay, so think sequence as soldiers. They themselves don't really do much. They are related in that each term is differed by a set constant ratio, but they are sequence. They're not doing anything. Thinking series as army in that they're added together. So series is submission of sequences. So that's the difference. All right. Now here we do have a formula. So submission of a n when n equal to 1 to big N is equal to 1 minus the ratio, okay, the first term minus the last term, which is a0 times r to the n plus one term. Okay, so the proof of this formula is actually pretty intricate, and it's one of the greatest um, elegant proof there is. But we will not go into this proof of this formula in this curve. Let's move on here. So in our sequence here, we have a n is equal to a0, which is a 6, and then plus uh, submission of an is equal to 6 plus 1,000 plus so on and so forth. So our r, when you grab the second term, divide the first term, you have 1 over 10. Okay, so for our submission here, let's see what we have then. Submission of an as n equal to 1, we're going to have to take a limit as n goes to infinity because this series, the sequence itself repeats all the way to infinity. Okay, so this one is equal to 1 minus 1 over 10, that's 1 minus r, so I'm literally using this formula over here now, 1 over 10, and then I have a first term which is 6 over uh, 100 minus last term, which I don't really know. I'm just going to write into one-tenth of n plus one. Okay, since one-tenth is less than one, as limit n goes to infinity, this term goes to zero. It gets smaller and smaller. So basically we're saying, look, limit of n minus there's the limit. Limit of one tenth n plus one is equal to zero. We're using this property over here. Okay. Now, having derived that, then we have this whole sequence sum is equal to six over ten uh, hundred divided by one minus one tenth. Okay. So that's equal to six over a hundred times. Uh, 10 goes on top, 9 goes on the bottom. Okay, so we have basically 6 over 90. 6 over 90. So let's leave it over there. Okay, so now from the way top there, we have 0 0.16 repeating is equal to 0 0.1 plus this big submission, which we just found equal to this. So this one is 1 over 10 plus 6 over 90. And it's a pretty easy one. So it's 90 over 15, or we have a 3 over 18. Okay, so our our form is, is 3 over 18. Let's see if we can get this calculator to show you. So I'm going to type 3 divided by 18, and that's 0 0.1666, just like the form we're looking for. All right. So that's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please let me know if it was helpful to you. Hi.
This is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. For more math answers, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, have a confident day.